very first tip to giving someone mind-blowing kind of lingus, yes. you want to make sure that you take your time. Right. Now, in order for the clitoris to truly get as sensitive as it's going to be, the clitoral hood needs to peel back, the right. area needs to fill with blood, and all of this can take some time which is good for you, because <laughs> yes. you can take your time elsewhere. Now, erogenous zones are anywhere where there's a cluster of nerve endings. So for example, this is an erogenous zone, mostly where joints are connecting, but this, the general area, is a hotbed of erogenous zones. What's up, lovers and friends? If you have been craving more content from me that informs, inspires, uplifts your voice, and gives you tangible takeaways on how to have better sex and better relationships, well, you are in luck. I have a daily show called Sexology with Sham Boudram only on Quibi, and I'm about to show you an entire episode that we shot all about the G-spot, or as I like to call it, the G-region. Now, we are shooting well over 100 episodes of Sexology with Sham Boudram, and as of today, you can go and binge like 75 that have already aired. But first, I wanna get you up on some G-game. Now, as a special note for this episode, I do wanna say that I use language like women and men, but what I should have said are people with vulvas and those who want to pleasure people with vulvas. Enjoy. All right, team, so we're talking about the G-spot today. In celebration, I actually dressed up like a vulva. Woo. So, <laughs> beautiful. there we go. The G-spot is a highly debated topic, and a lot of people wonder if every woman has a G-spot. What do you think? I think it depends. I mean, you don't, we can't look into every woman's vagina, so you never know. My middle school health teacher told me the G-spot feels like a walnut. I've never had that personal experience. I'm sorry, what? The prostate is actually described as feeling like the walnut. Interesting. Because the prostate is a little bit larger mm -hmm. and it can get a little harder. The G-spot is often compared to the roof of your mouth, that rigid feeling there. Raise your hand if you yeah. touch your tongue to your room. I just, I just did. It's not really the G-spot. It's really more the G region. Now, our genitals are rich with nerves, they're rich with beautiful parts, they're rich with tissue, and all these things can be pleasurable. So the G spot can speak to either one, the clitoral legs, because the clitoris, as we know, is a lot larger than just that little button at the top. It can speak to the skein's gland, which would be the female prostate. It can also speak to the erectile tissue between your urethra and the, and the vagina, and that erectile tissue between the urethra and the vagina can get really engorged with blood and become pleasurable to touch. I'm learning so much, you guys. I think it's crucial to not to think about it like it's confusing. Really, at the end of the day, we all have the same body parts are just organized in different ways. So if you think of the G region, so you've got that erectile tissue, that's like the shaft of the penis. You've got the skein's gland, that's like the prostate. Then you've got the clitoris, and that is like the penis. And the clitoris, again, is that long network that is shaped like a wishbone. So now, it's not confusing. Thing. It's just organized in a different way and stimulating it is all that frontal region I'm sure you guys have heard the putting your fingers in and moving it towards the belly button mm -hmm. That's usually if you play around there. You'll get you'll strike gold somehow I'm sure some dudes and me included have trouble finding the g-spot But sometimes that's because I feel like the the woman or whoever your partner is Maybe isn't comfortable enough like vocalizing what they want. You know what I mean? Like you know, I, I love communication in bed you know what I mean? So if I'm doing something wrong, tell me. I will it say though, a me. lot of guys do get very sensitive when you yes. critique them in yes. the act. They tend to see it as something personal about them rather than, no, I'm uncomfortable. It ain't about you. I don't feel good I right now. I will say though, Lindsay, I have had so many people sit in this couch. I've spoken to so many men and all of them really do say, I want to be told. I think maybe the way you tell somebody mm -hmm. can be the difference. Like, you're doing it wrong. That's probably <laughs> not the right tone uh -huh. in the bedroom. But you probably would say something like, oh, when you thrust shallow, it feels amazing. Oh, it's so good. That pressure feels right. Do that again. So you can still guide the person without making it into a critique. Mm. Well, I mean, I've also, I mean, I've also had women like, like take my hand and like move it like an yeah. inch to the left or an inch to the right, which is lovely. It yeah. looks lovely. It's like a Pac-Man <laughs> game, like up, down, side, mm -hmm. yeah. around. And I think it's important to note some people may genuinely not have that sensitivity there. Right. Again, if that tissue is too thick, if the clitoris is way too far from the vaginal opening and you don't have a skein's gland, which women don't need a skein's gland, it's kind of like men don't need nipples. And so some people just didn't get it produced at that large amount that it needs to feel something. A lot of women who have a larger skein's gland have an easier time squirting, for example. So I think it's important to say, if you've tried the gamut, you've played around, you've played with toys, you've done penetration, you don't feel anything, it may not be there for you, and that's okay. So what do you all think are the best positions to hit the G-spot? 
definitely being on top because for me at least, I feel like I have more control and I feel like the angle specifically just really hits it and just feels awesome. <laughs> I think missionary for me. Missionary with closed legs apparently is the holy grail of missionary for the G spot. Oh, wow. So next time, just put those legs together. Yeah, see if that right helps. Right and tight. <laughs> it's so funny because like every time I come, like if like when if I squeeze my legs together, like I feel like I'm gonna come again. Yeah. I don't know if you guys ever felt that before. Because you're squeezing the clitoris, right? Even after though, like after you're done, you can have multiple yeah, yeah. orgasms. Oh yeah. Like, I thought I was the only one. Oh, <laughs> you are not the only woman yeah, having yeah, multiple yeah, orgasms. Yeah. I'm a one and done as well too. So I think it depends on the person. Rochella, she keep going. I gotta learn. Yeah. 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 She got time to kill. Has anyone had to help their partner find their G spot? Yeah. Lindsay. A hundred percent. I am such a big believer in. Ladies having vibrators, guys having vibrators, because I don't expect someone I'm sleeping with to find my G-spot if I don't know where it is I myself. I love the equal opportunity, but just <laughs> continue. I'm with it. If I could get myself there, I could just put my partner's hand exactly where I know I like it, because, and it depends on the day. Some days I'm just wanting to do a fast and quick littoral orgasm, and a G-spot is a lot of, like, you know, physical effort. So a vibrator, I think, makes things so much easier and so much more pleasure for both partners. So let me ask the guys, do you want guidance on how to find a woman's G-spot? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. it takes two to tango, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, if you're trying to get off, like, tell me, let's go, <laughs> you know? Thank you so much for sharing your truths with me. And if you are watching this show and you are curious about the G region, start to play around. Don't think of it so much as a spot, but a lot of beautiful possibilities that exist within the woman's vagina towards the belly button around the lower third area. When it comes to positions, try to prioritize that in your play. But at the end of the day, finding a position that allows you to touch other areas might also be your go-to. And last but not least, if you do not experience enough sensation from G spots, that's okay. Not everybody is gonna have sex the exact same way. It's about finding what feels good for you and playing in that space. Thank you for watching Sexology. We'll see you next time. And that's a sneak peek of our show. If you have any experience with the G region, go ahead and comment down below. And while you're going down on me, make sure you make a pit stop on the info box because that's where you'll find the link to download the Quibi app so you can get started on watching Sexology. Every episode is around five and a half minutes long and deals with a different topic having to do with sex, love, and relationships. So if you enjoyed that, then you're gonna enjoy me on Quibi and I will see you tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. And also the day, as you can see, it's a, it's a daily show over there, so we're gonna spend a lot more time together. What was your first prostate experience? Just a cucumber and a, a prayer. Uh -huh.